All right, I'm going to fill in behind some of this stuff with caulking material, I think. I'm going to look over this real quick here and decide what I'm going to do. This is the clay I picked up yesterday. It's been sitting in a uh, gallery down in uh, Jackson, Wyoming for about the last, well, couple of years. It was there all last summer, I remember that, and uh, I'm just going over it to, uh, to get it ready to go to the foundry uh, this coming week. Yeah, there's some places I need to fill in behind, uh, behind these feathers here. Um, and I want it to be a good fill, and I need to straighten out some of these feathers. A uh, copy of this is going to Paris, France. And I just need to put some final finishing touches on it. Uh, some of the uh, detail gets uh, messed up. People touching it, moving it, stuff like that in the gallery. This is a tool with a serrated edge on it. And uh, in other words, they've taken a file or machine of some kind and, and ground uh, little grooves in the edge so that you, when you go run across the clay it gives you a nice texture and if you're going to do texture on a like say a blanket you better do the same texture all the way across the blanket and all over the blanket because if you don't it's going to look odd to have texture here different from the texture there so I don't remember what tool I used I think it was another tool that I don't have in my studio right now so I'm just going to redo the texture on this clay, and it doesn't hurt to do that. Since this is a fold over it, it, that this one tucks under, i got to make that fold a little bit bigger than I had. <coughs> I did this uh, probably two summers ago now and uh, I for, sometimes you don't see things because you get real close to them and I didn't see this when I was working on it last time I see it now so I'm just gonna emphasize that uh, blanket fold a little more than I had why sometimes it's good to get away from something for a while because when you come back you can start picking up the things with a clear eye things that need to be improved or changed it never hurts to put something aside for a month or two and come back to it if there's no rush to get it done that is How to buy my uh, DVDs, my instructional DVDs. I just updated the uh, site so that you can purchase more than one at a time. People were having trouble buying more than one copy of my DVDs at once, and so they were buying them one at a time, which was bothersome for them. And uh, I changed the button from uh, PayPal, which also accepts uh, credit cards and, and debit cards as well. 
uh, here's the website you go to, uh, A Day in the Life of a Lemon. And uh, up here in the upper right-hand corner is, uh, or column, is the area where you can purchase my DVD. Here is a translator uh, area. You can click on this little white area and drop mat down menu with uh, different languages uh, appears, and you can just pick the language that you have. Now this is the uh, add to cart button. Now this is the, the area that you buy my DVDs. And you just drop down menu, pick one. It'll take you to PayPal. If you don't want to use PayPal because you don't have a uh, uh, PayPal account, uh, right below uh, the sign-in area for the PayPal is uh, the uh, credit card area where you can just click and use your credit card. Um, but anyway, you just make a selection, you go back to shopping cart if you want to buy more than one, and uh, just complete, and then repeat by just clicking on the ones that you want. Uh, I've got eight DVDs all together. All right, I'm gonna try to fill in behind this feather here, best I can. Hmm, this ain't gonna be as easy as I thought. Uh -uh. Now it takes uh, four hours for this to dry. I'm going to give it 24 hours and come back tomorrow and work on this. And I put a piece of clay up here to hold these two feathers together while this caulking material hardens up a little bit. All right. Because it pays to have a rag you can throw away. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cover this so it doesn't harden up. I've got uh, the back of this uh, blanket to finish off. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of detail, just uh, sketch it in nicely. And, uh, God, this thing gets in the way. And I'm going to. Uh, I like this a lot better now. It looks a lot more uh, real. I filled in the uh, areas where the uh, quill goes into the uh, feather, the headdress. Uh, I didn't want blank space there because that costs a fortune to get done. And I got a hole right there I want to fill tomorrow too. So still a little more work, probably two or two days more on this. 
and uh, then it'll be done. And I can take photographs of it. I'm not. I'm planning to go on Wednesday to the foundry now, uh, but I'm thinking it might be Thursday before I get there. All right. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a great night.